Hi, my name is Eric Lankin, and our AFA tech tip today will be on how to set up a rotary feeder. So ensuring proper setup of a rotary feeder is important when starting up a new machine, when replacing new components on the equipment such as chains and sprockets, or when a major machine crash has transpired. Benefits of setting up the rotary feeder correctly include ensuring smooth operation of the machine, minimizing downtime and product waste, and reduction in troubleshooting costs. So today I will go through the proper procedure on how to set up a rotary feeder on this MKDLT integrated Delta 3 robotic arm. So the first step is to ensure the counterweight is level. This can be done by using the level on the counterweight and also making sure the suction cup arrangement is in a vertical position and is parallel. Make sure the four bolts on the counterweight are tight to mitigate air exhaust. So for the second step, you will need to home the lugs to their home position. If you have a servo driven cartoner, then you can do this with the HMI. If you have a mechanically driven cartoner, then this has to be completed manually. Make sure that the suction cup distance to the rear lug is by 3 16 of an inch. This is zero position for the feeder and the lugs. If you have a servo cartner, now you can set this position to home. So for the third step, you will need to adjust the vacuum valve at the side of the feeder. Adjust the clamp at the side of the rotary feeder. You want to make sure that the suction cups have vacuum to pick the carton and then properly exhaust when the suction cups are at zero position. This will complete all the steps required to set up a rotary feeder. All right, well, thank you for watching our tech tip on setting up a rotary feeder. If you have any questions, please contact the AFA systems um, either by phone, 905. 456-8700 or you can find our contact information on our website www.afasystemsinc.com Thank you very much.